Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gladys. In this video, I will show you how I came about this elastic sleeve. You can see how neat it is. Can you see it? Everything is neat. Can you see it? Okay, let's get started. The way I did it is this. I first of all, after sewing my dress, I sedged the tip, the edge of the sleeve using a industrial sedger machine. Can you see it? So, if you don't know how to use an industrial sedger machine, I will make a video soon on how to use it. So, after that, I sedger the tip of the, the sleeve. After surgery it, I fold it by one inch. Why I fold one inch, one, one one quarter inch? Why I fold one one quarter inch is because I'm using elastic, one inch elastic. So the quarter inch there is for my stitching. It's for me to use and stitch it. Why one inch will be for the elastic? Can you see it? Can you see it now? If you are using... Uh, let's assume you are using half inch elastic. If you are using half inch elastic, you create, you know that you're folding, which will be the channel for the elastic to pass, will be, uh, if it's half inch, you can use a three quarter inch, so that you will use half inch, uh, one, qu one quarter inch for stitching, and half inch for your elastic. If you are using quarter inch elastic, you use you create half inch channel so that quarter inch will be for stitching and quarter inch will be for the elastic i hope we get the whole thing then let's continue how do i determine the norm uh, the uh, uh, length of the elastic to use wherever you want to use as your elastic that is wherever you want the sleeve to stop if it's at the wrist you measure you use your elastic and crossed at the wrist like this when you cross it at the wrist you hold it down and double it because you are going to sew for put for the two sleeves now double it and cut you now cut it again Can you see now you have this for the two sleeve if it's here that you are going to if it's at the uh, elbow side or at the biceps anywhere you want to use uh, you want the sleeve to stop and you want to fix elastic on it cross your uh, uh, your elastic that the part, that particular place cross it like this and hold it down and double it and cut when you finish making the sleeve it will fit perfectly well so let's continue we already have our uh, elastic now cut out so i'll just say uh, i've already done this sleeve let me get the other sleeve okay here is it and i'll stitch it down because of one inch elastic just as i explained earlier that's why i created a channel for one one quarter inch so I will not stitch by one quarter inch. Before I continue, there is this, you can see this place. If you stitch this thing like this, this place will be heavy. So what I will do to flatten it so that it will be the same way with, the other, with every other side is to not shear the exact line, notch it like this, just more. Can you see it now? Just more. Part D the sewing allowance this place now part it into two one will go this side one will go the other side can you see it once you part it like this and close it up like this this place will be flat when you finish sewing it will not be heavy so let's continue already i have uh, 
I have a ironed it down because I ironed it down. I will not have any need to stress myself. Remember to backstitch, please. Because the line of the iron is now a kind of a guideline for me. So it will make my work easy. And not just that, it will make my work neat when, it fin when I finish. So always iron down your sleeve when you are making something like this. And the secret of uh, neat finishing is ironing. It's one of the secrets. You iron every step of the way. As you follow me on this channel, you're going to learn more tips and more way of doing things and getting it right. Okay, remember we are going to pass a channel uh, elastic, so we are not going to close it up. We started here, so we have to create one inch or three quarter inch opening. Can you see it? Look at it. I'll put my finger there, use the other one across it, and now know where to stop. I'll backstitch and cut. Always cut out your sleeve. You see some dresses after making the, them thread will fall everywhere all the dress. No, why is like that? Is because the person the person that is making the dress when the person was making the dress the person wasn't cutting all the threads where necessary. If you are cutting where necessary, you see that your work will come out very well. So the next thing now to do is to pass our elastic. Gosh, where do I keep my Okay, we get our safety pin, pass it, use it to hold it down. Can you see it? So I will now pass it on the hole we created, on the, ch uh, the channel we created for the elastic on the sleeve. So here is it. Start pushing it. It's as easy as anything. Anyone can do this. The important thing is you doing it and getting it well. Making your work neat. Some people may do it, uh, can do it better. It will not come out neat. As I'm giving you all these tips so that you know how to do it and get it neat. When it's coming to the end like this, you can use pin to hold it down. Use pin to hold it down. And continue passing your elastic. You keep pushing it. Can you see it's forming already? When you get to the place you entered from, first of all, bring out your pin and use your hand to draw it out. Continue until your elastic is out. Can you see it? Another tips you need to know is this. Most of the times when you are bringing out this elastic, if you are not careful, it will twist inside. So make sure that you check to be sure that it doesn't twist in any place before you can now stitch finally. So I can have checked it and uh, everything is well laid. So I will now remove my pin and trim off all these places. Another thing, that is very important is using a lighter to close up to seal up this uh, elastic because most of the times the thing do flay so you use a last uh, use your lighter to seal it up once you sealed it you can now hold it down hold it down and stitch half inch please don't stitch close here if you stitch close here when you draw it it will pull stitch half inch when you stitch half inch i know the this video is becoming lengthy but the tips i'm giving you is something you need that's why i don't want to cut it as i'm following every process filming every process of it so that you get it right once and for all 
So, now that it's like this, I'm not going to leave it like this. I'll open it up. Open it up like this. And stitch in a rectangular form to hold it down firmly so that it will not pull. I cannot remove this my last uh, pin. So, let's go and do it. again very important please don't skip this part this part this part is very important in closing up your elastic if you don't do it the likelihood that your this thing your, your elastic will pull will be there the way you do it this way it will close up so Can you see it now? I stitched it into four places. So it's now very firm. Trim off all the threads. Remember, neat finishing is very, very important. So you push the thing inside. Use your hand to balance it. Make sure that it doesn't twist in any way. Make sure that it doesn't twist in any way. You can now balance it up. Can you see it? Okay, I will now go to my machine now and close up this place that will pass the elastic from. This place will pass the elastic from. I will now close it up. So let's do that together. I know this video is a little lengthy than it's supposed to be, but it's worth it. Follow the process, forget about every other thing, follow the, the process so that you will get it right and get it well. Thank you very much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Here is the end result. Balance it with your hand. Let me turn it so that you can see the end. Yeah, where is the sleeve? Okay, it's this one. So, can you see it? Oh, my baby is awake. So, that is it. You can watch it. Uh, I will make a video on how to bead it. I will make a video on that. Leave it. So, here is it. Can you see the final outlook? It's the same with the one we did earlier. Can you see it? Thank you very much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe.